part of it anyway. I'll show you guys a little bit of how it works. So we got the raw beef. What else we got? Raw chicken right here. And we're doing, what are we doing? Like around 2% of the body weight. So is that what we said? A little bit more than 2% of the body weight. But we have raw beef. And this is, how many ounces of beef are you giving them? Eight ounces of beef. Per, that's per meal and eat twice a day. And um, so we're pre-packing with raw chicken. Hey, Mike. Hey, Lenny. How are you? So we got raw chicken, chicken wings. Um, some of them have chicken drumsticks in here. These are all raw. So how many uh, weeks is this? This is four weeks. So this is a, the, the chicken. Yeah. Oh, this is all with the chicken. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. So we weigh out. She's doing it like literally to the actual eight eight ounces. Screen. She's being full on precise. Thank you, Lenny. So I'll show you guys. I'm going to go downstairs and show you guys what we bought. So this is our, um, let's see what else we got. So let me show you guys our, um, sorry, our refrigerator is messy. But we give them, um, so we give our dogs fresh carrots. Uh, we have a whole bag of carrots. We'll probably prep that today. We also give them, hey, Justin, we also give them some spinach. That This is uh, blanched spinach. And then we also have, uh, we had to defrost it. This is chicken, uh, I think this is hearts. This is air-cooled air chicken hearts. So we give this to them as well. And then we do give them yogurt. Um, this is some Greek yogurt. We give them yogurt with their meals. Uh, what else we give them? There's some other stuff. I'll go show you guys. Uh, it's all mixed. We're supposed to keep it all in one area. But uh, we give them... Oh, so, so see, we chop it up. The carrots. Um, we, we do give them fresh cilantro as well. It's just kind of funky looking. So I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to show you guys. He says, good to see you here, uh, Justin. <laughs> We're boiling some, um, so these are Okinawan, I think, sweet potatoes. So, sorry, we're really messy with doing fruit prep. So this is, um, let me show you guys this. See how this is purple? So this is an Okinawan sweet potato. So let me show you guys what else we got. I'm going to go downstairs and show you guys. Um, For those that are curious. No, it all, should be all upstairs. So we got our, we don't have enough room upstairs. So we got to keep some in our refrigerator down here. But we have, um, so we give them celery. We give them fresh celery. This kind of celery right here. And we have some extra carrots. Uh, we may chop up some of this pork and and uh, give them. They, they love pork too, but we don't want to give them too much pork. Pork is not really. It's kind of on a fattier side, so we got to be careful. Um, see what else we got for our dog. So we got some. Uh, if we have, do we have an emergency stash of chicken? Like if for some reason you know we forget to, uh, and we got some more pork. This is like. If this is like if we got it, got it, got it, we have, but um, but we do have some chicken if we gotta have it, and we got some pork butt in the freezer, so we'll go back upstairs. I think that's all the vegetables. I, I thought I had more vegetables down here, but typically, we give them uh, celery, carrots, um, this is some old celery right here, yeah, yeah. We have a composting bin, so we're saving all of our used veggies and making a compost. So, show you guys. 
Oh, you don't, let me show that. Here. Let's put it right here. I'm going to show them real quick. Right there. So this is uh, the one month for those that are kind of jumping in. We have eight ounces of beef with a raw chicken drumstick. So we're going to refrigerate most of these and then some will freeze. So, um, so twice a day, eight. So they eat about a pound of food every meal. So about two pounds of food every day. All right. Thank you, Zoe. So we're, we're still playing around with it. Um, let me turn the camera around. So I'm going to show too much of my house. Okay. So what else we got? I didn't show them. Sweet potato, celery, or oh, apples. We should get the apples. Are the apples up here, Zoe? So we give them apples too. And salmon. Do we have any more salmon up here? I don't know where it's at. But anyways, we'll, we'll turn the camera on. Um, bring, bring a couple of bags of salmon or one bag of salmon up here. It's in a stand-up freezer downstairs. So I thought we had a bag of salmon here. <laughs> That's spinach. Oh. We used to give them raw. Well, sometimes we give them raw spinach. Um, but because we had so much... I told my girls just blanch it real quick and then that way it doesn't go bad. It'll last a little bit longer. Where's that? Did you find it? Let me see. Not the whole thing, so open it up. Let's get one. Two, three. Okay. So we'll mix the uh, raw beef with salmon. And we'll have this is, um, so I bought a big piece of. Uh, we're on Oahu, Justin. So if you can see this, this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think six or six to eight pieces of salmon. And I tell my daughter, just give them one or two pieces with every meal. So this should last a week. So this should last about a week. Because we only give it to them certain days of the week. And then, of course, the chicken, we give them three days a week. So we may give it to them every day. So if you're wondering why we give them raw salmon, it's good for their skin, for their for their coat, for the hair. Um, it's got the omega-3s, the fatty acids. It's good for the bones, joints. The, and that's what the chicken bones are for, the raw chicken bone. That's for their joints, too. That's where they get their calcium from. In the bones. Yeah. We'll put this in a freezer. We'll leave one in our fridge. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm totally a bad cameraman. It's right here in the freezer. Might make you guys dizzy. Why is this stove on? For the 
Okay, let's go ahead and get this under water. Keep it cool. Okay, real quick, for those that are watching, tell me where you're watching from. What city, what state, what country. So we're going to weigh these out. So you want me to cut them? Okay, we'll put you guys down. I'm going to put you guys down. Hopefully the camera angle is not too bad. Uh, yeah, we'll put it out. Oh, these are hot sticks. Keep it in cold water. Let's put some ice in it. got some more uh these are for those that are kind of jumping in late these are okinawan sweet potatoes should i peel this no don't leave the skin on yeah yeah or is it just all be mushy where's your pot with the hold on so are you taking you are taking a very long time just to do one job okay so just put ice in it Get another pot. Well, just get the other pot. Make fast, okay? Gotta get this in cool. Okay, so we gotta get these under ice. These real life ones. Now, this one's still kind of hot. It's got to cool it off. I had to put these on ice because it's still cooking. How old are these sweet potatoes right here? That's been cooled already. Yeah, no, when were they boiled is my question. To ask Jazz. The ones that are on ice. You, you guys probably made it in the microwave. So they're super cold. They weren't refrigerated. They, they, they feel like they've been refrigerated. Were they made this morning? No, they just made half an hour. Huh? Hold on, let me. I just want to see if there are the ones on the stove right here. Oh, then those ones must have been made earlier. Like another day. Yeah. Today. Earlier. Okay. Maybe you guys make me confused. I, I like make sure we use the old one first. <laughs> so we use this. Again back going on over here and then come up. So how big, how big should I make these? How big you guys make on this big Zoe? 
Okay. Maybe I cut them in half, yeah? You're going to bag this uh, now then, yeah, honey? Yes. Okay. So maybe a uh, here. Look at this one. This one's purple and white. <clears throat> these are actually really good. If, you, if you're dieting and stuff, yeah, these are better potato than like uh what am I using this knife for? Can you give me a, a metal mixing bowl, Zoe? And put all these sweet potatoes in. How long do these boil? It's a little soft. I wouldn't say there's a time because you just gotta check them. That's see, this is crazy because what's gonna happen? It's just too high. Okay. So transfer some to that where you got more room, sorry. How much is in there? Uh, transfer the water over too. Do we have napkins someplace? That's good. So stop, stop making it so high because if you. What did you say? Do you have napkins anywhere? Right here. Oh, good. thank you. Ube. What is what is ube? That's uh. Oh, it. I guess that is. This is ube. Yeah, this is actually ube. Hawaii is good, bro. How you guys doing? I'm gonna put a wet paper towel underneath. Where, where's that bleach smell coming from? She, she's cleaning. Metal serving bowl, mixing bowl. Okay. Here. Fine working in carpet office in Florida. Nice. How's the uh, how's the how's the uh, what's the word? How's the COVID restrictions in Florida? Here they're kind of easing up a little bit. Trying to anyway. Honestly, I think a lot of it comes down to the funding. Just that, uh, no, um, I just stopped doing that about uh, about two years ago, almost three now, actually. My wife and I we started pastoring about two years ago, actually. Well, yeah, about two years ago now. A little over two years. Yeah. And you, what you been up to, Justin? This is a lot of sweet potato. This one, you can just peel the skin right off. Let me take one off. Take that. You can just peel the skin right off. And just eat it. Just pull it to your potato. When did you make it, Gus?
50% vaccinated. I think they uh, administered 500,000 vaccinations here. Maybe probably more than that by now. I think a lot of that has to do with federal funding. You, know, you, get, you get the funding for that. So if the federal government is going to pay for it, and you get subsidies for that. Which that's, I think, one of the reasons why they're pushing it so hard here, anyway. And of course, there are people that, you know, truly believe that it's uh, making a big difference as far as the COVID suppression, if that's the right word. About three years ago, it's about right. Yeah, Paracel's kind of been, they pretty much shut down about three years ago, I would say. They, they weren't really doing anything. No customer service, you know. They didn't really care about the community, really. So when they shut down last month, it was really, they were they, they shut down a long time ago, way before. And I think everybody kind of knew that. They really didn't care. Uh, I personally did it. Uh, I, you know, it's, it's a personal choice for me and my family. Um, you want to ask me the details about it? There's a lot of details that uh, they're not publicizing really in the, in the in the media. Number one is there are no COVID vaccines that are that are approved by the FDA. None of them, and we don't care about the FDA anyway, but people do. So how they were able to get people to take the vaccine was the FDA gave what they call an emergency authorization usage or emergency use authorization, which basically means we're not going to approve it because there's no, you know, there's not enough data to to back it up. So if there's a if there's a COVID related COVID vaccine related death, they're not held liable. So, you know. Yeah, people, you know, TikTok is, uh, it's less commitment in time-wise, right? Live streaming, you're pretty much committed for, you know, a, a good period of time, whereas TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, you just got to put up something for a minute and then you can leave. So, I'm not saying people shouldn't get it because that's, that, that, you know, that, that's a personal decision. And it's a very, it's a very personal decision for some. You know, we lost someone, uh, a friend of ours. Uh, I don't, I don't want to say primarily to COVID, but COVID accelerated what she had been through. She passed away last week. She's only thirty, so it, I'm not going to discount what COVID is. But you know, there's so many things out there that are not being told to the general public about the vaccine as well. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you coming out. I think you follow me on uh, LinkedIn, or there's another social media platform. I think you follow me on just recently. I can't remember which one it was. Or I follow you, or I want to say it's LinkedIn, which is not really social media, but which they kind of marketing in that way. I'm trying to get my dad to go and do live stream because I think that would help him a lot with his journey because my dad's traveling in his car, you know? Yeah, she was in uh, Oklahoma. So, you know, here in Hawaii, I think COVID-related deaths are very low in comparison to the rest of the nation. Okay, is that where it was? Yeah, well, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Who, the doctor? I would say, can, I would ask him, can you show me the data that, that proves that it is the safest thing out there? Or, you know, I'm sure that the vaccine does work as 
far as what they're saying, but they're not telling you everything. That's the thing. If it was a treatment for cancer and it hasn't been fully tested or approved, would you take it? Right? But there's a certain level of fear associated with if you don't get vaccinated, you're going to die. That, that's what they're telling you, right? You're going to, you can possibly die if you don't get vaccinated. Who is that? Are the dogs in, locked up or are they walking around, Jess? Thank you, bro. I appreciate it, Justin. We'll catch up later. So we got uh, some more sweet potatoes boiling. These are the Okinawan sweet potatoes. We just did a whole bunch right here. We did like, this is probably like five pounds. Let's see with the ends. Hey, Joanne, are you here? Are you in Oahu, Joanne? Look what I, look what we bought yesterday. We bought this from Chinatown. This is uh, I don't even know what this is. This is like cabbage, or mustard cabbage, mustard cabbage root. Oh, you're in LA. And then I bought this from Chinatown too. This is a uh, dried fish with fermented black bean and chili pepper. I mean, it's really good. It's spicy though. And then my wife bought this black garlic. I haven't tried it yet, but no, we're not putting this in dog food. This is my my food. But we here. I'll show you guys the um. Show you guys a dog food. So that's the uh, eight ounces, and then uh, this is uh, I think eighty. What is this? No, this is ninety. This is eighty-eight. 8812. Sa um Costco is more expensive than Sam. Sam's is like 320 a pound. Over here is like 350 a pound. And then the Sam's they have the 8020, so it's got more fatty content, or you can do the 9010. All they had here at uh Costco was eighty eight twelve, I think it was. So we're putting this inside too. This is a uh, chicken drumettes. So we're gonna f these. We're gonna f so the veggies we're gonna mix separately in a separate bag, pre mixed, all, all with the beef. So it's just gonna be raw. We're not gonna microwave the beef like before. Just well, you haven't been. No, I just was asking. Okay. So yeah, we uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday chicken. So Monday, when Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we give them raw chicken drumsticks or drumettes or wings, and they eat it straight up. That's sweet peppers. What are you going to do with it? Huh? Come put it. What? Oh. But yeah, so we have this too. Um, we have. So we get their fresh carrots, which we get fresh carrots right here. Uh, we also get their fresh spinach, which is this one right here. Uh, we do blanch it sometimes if it's going bad. 
And then we go our cilantro. This is cilantro. We have fresh cilantro as well. Yeah. So I don't know what the cilantro is. Supposedly it would be good for immunity, I think. Supposedly. And then the sweet potato, yeah. This is actually... <laughs> yeah. These are actually Okinawan. We we do get broccoli once in a while, but it's for bulldogs. Bulldogs are very gassy, so we try not to give too much broccoli, and we cook it if anything. Let's check these sweet potatoes. That's too hard. I used to give them raw eggs, like one egg, but. They got the like the major squirts, like doo doo squirts, so we stopped doing that. But we do give them. Um, do we have coconut oil? No, we have coconut oil. Yeah, so that's why we try to limit. <laughs> that's what. That's right. You guys got a Frenchie. Where's the coconut oil? Yeah. So. Light soy sauce is not too much sodium. How old is your guys Frenchie? They're I love Frenchie. They're beautiful dogs, but let's see if our dogs are two before. Oh, that's awesome. Our puppies are um let me see if they're oh it's why is this so wet? But did we mop it too? With water? Oh well, I can't let them out just yet, but because we just cleaned out here. But there's Lily. <laughs> Dear tongue. Never mind. Be quiet. Quiet. And there's Mahina. Daddy, Daddy, come. I made a uh, um. What? Not right now. What? I'll check in in a minute. Is that all, the last of the chicken? Oh, we also give them yogurt too. I forgot. So I know I'm going around in circles, but staying busy. So we give them, we also get them yogurt. What's your checklist? Let's see. It. Yeah, but it has to be raw, yeah? The chicken bones. We don't give them cooked chicken bones. But even with, with raw, you still gotta, you gotta watch them. So this is what we give our dogs. So we got hamburger, which is raw beef, um, sweet potato, carrots, celery. We get them fresh apples, yogurt. I have salmon. I, I caught up the salmon, chicken wing. We also get them chicken gizzards or hearts, whichever is available, cilantro, and supplements. We get them supplements too. Sign because they tend to forget to give a lot of food. So yeah, I made them, you know, sign to make sure they're getting all the, what they're supposed to. Yeah. So let me see if I can find the supplement. What supplements are we giving them? So let me show you what we give them. It's over there. So none of this. So. When we have it, we give them salmon oil, but we ran out, so that's why we give them fresh salmon, salmon pieces. So all their subs are over there. Only those two. Where are they? Oh, right here. So we give them grapeseed extract. Come here, take this chopping board and wash it. This is from Vitamin Shop. And folic acid. So we give this to the mom when she was pregnant. And so this one, they just break it up. This is a capsule. 
and you just take the capsule for it and you just, you just eyeball it. Oh, Paul? Okay. What vegetables are you going to start off with? I have some sweet potato already cut. Carrots and celery. Okay. Can bring that cutting board with a napkin because it's 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 for cutting the veggies. Right there and I set this up. I just totally cleaned this table. Mom, the, the sandwich bags is on the counter. So this is for the sweet potato. And, uh, Where's the carrots? And the celery. How many days? Every day. We don't have one. Yes, we do. I was looking. There's no way. We don't have it. The silver one should be. We have a greater. We have a greater. There, there is one in there. Can I get? Can I get a butter knife, please? Mm -hmm. You should bring out cutting boards. Um, no, apparently not. You didn't give me this one. Did you ask him if he liked that one. He can cut. He can help me cut too. Yeah, I'll take this part right here. You gonna come here? Yeah. Okay. Don't you move over that way so she can come and help you over there. Or you can come on this side. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Put the shirt on. Yeah, paper towel to put in here. I need a butter knife. Butter knife, please. Is this already washed? And I'll watch No. I'm gonna watch this. Hey Mike, thank you for subscribing. Another one. That's fine. That's good enough. <clears throat> I want your face not too close to my knife, okay? Okay. We're gonna cut the carrots and we're gonna dice them, I think. They like carrots. Yep. They do. The flavor or the crunch?
Are those food for the puppies? The puppies? Mm -hmm. That's why they're locked in the kennels. They're locked in there because Jasmine just finished cleaning the ground outside. Can you get a container for all these carrots? Whatever Jazz gives you. Mash up, it's fine. Or you, so you can add. Them. Zoe, I need your help over here. Zoe. It's really sweet to take them and rinse them and bring them back. Daddy. Yeah. I mean, I mean mommy. Can I nice now? Where's my container? Zoe said in... No, I need a container. Give me a container to put the carrots. This is every day, yeah? Zoe! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> laughing. I try to make the guy... It's not working. What's that? Here we go. Here, Daddy. I can Yeah, they don't really show that yet. I'm not sure if they're going to change the article. There's 82 people watching. How many things there's 82 watching this? How many came in so far? It says it right there. Yeah, but I don't think that's the actual watching right this minute. Uh, are those sweet potatoes? Taste like mommy? Try one. Sweet. Is it cold? Yeah. It needs to be cool. Or when we cut it, it's going to smash. So put in a bowl with ice and water so it, it firms up. You like it? Mm -hmm. Kind of feels like honey or something. It's squishy. It's kind of like your hand can make it. Like it's hard. You just don't want to eat the skin. This is done. Yeah. Oh, don't throw away the scraps. We have a compost bin, yeah? Zoe, bring me the, the sharpener. The knife sharpener. This wasn't raw beef in here, right? You, you're gonna... you are, there's a knife shot. Leave him alone. No, the other one. I don't need that one. Sorry. Yeah, that one. That one said the other one. Oh, what was I gonna say? Can we mix the celery and carrots in the same container and just toss them? Oh. How do you do it? Do 
we just rub it on the knife? Separate. Mommy. What? Do they sell cucumbers at Walmart? Probably. So we have to make lemonade first. Joey, we're actually here doing food prep. You're talking about making the recipe. Maybe we can get a towel and dry that pork because it'll be a while before we dry it. get a towel for it. Yeah. Yeah. Now this is a lot. Oh yeah, I reckon we're gonna Street. No, I like it. Can somebody get a towel and wipe that porch up? Well, this is going to be wet for like another hour because there's no breeze at all and it's humid. It's just starting to dry up. Is it? Thank you. Is that your life? Yes. Because no one really watches. <laughs> oh, rude. No one has comments. First was 80, versus $85, nobody. <laughs> no, he's watching because he didn't watch TV. Did you watch it Oh, 
This is what the Chinese people do, yeah? They just prep this for the whole day. Yeah. Yeah. They eat vegetables all day. Anyway, they sprout. <laughs> Cutting it the wrong way, yeah? They're very confident in their cutting skills because uh, well, I'm not very co confident with using one gigantic butcher knife. But it's easier if you have just one knife. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, well, what would you do? Go from knife to knife. Stir fry vegetables like nobody's business. Yeah, probably. <laughs> she laughing. Who? Who's laughing? Dogs eat chicken bones. Joanne, right. Yeah, our dogs eat chicken bones. I love cooking with celery. I love the flavor of you know, onion, the carrots. I don't care for celery. <laughs> I'm afraid he'll chop his fingers off. He's practicing. So there's two techniques. Yeah, there's one where um, if we have a sharp knife, it makes sense that this knife is not the sharpest. I'm watching this video, so you do. Is this all? Do this, so this one. Carrots we have. No, there's some more. It's probably safer. Paper method, I think. Rock oh. and chop. Yeah, that's what it's called. Rock, rock and, and chop. chop, yeah. Rock and chop. You need more carrots? Yeah. Zoe? I need three more carrots. Chop. Give me chop. four carrots. Rinse them and bring them here, please. Chop, yes. Chop, fine. <laughs> Make sure they're rinsed. Oh, not a sin of me. Oi. Is a sweet potato cooled off? Thank you, Zoe. So add some more ice. 
so it's good off. How much ounces of sweet potato? I don't know. Only did one. Yeah, I huh? One ounce? Or two ounces. Should I bring the ones with um without the sweet potato? Hmm? Should I bring the ones without the sweet potato? Without the carrots. I'm going to cut my finger. Oh. Just uh, for those that are watching live, I'm not sure if anybody's live. Put up a one if you're in the live. If you're in a replay, thank you. Curious. Neighbors are like, oh, these guys are giving us competition. <laughs> That's right. Show you how it's done. <laughs> this is not even for humans. <laughs> Sixty bags, yeah. Oh, 
Das Are the dogs out? Hello. Are they wearing their diapers? Huh? Can you make up the super table? How many are white? How many are white? How many super potatoes are white? Use a lot less water that way, first of all. You don't ruin the sweet potato. Huh? You won't ruin the sweet potato. Running water on the sweet potato will ruin it. What are you doing, Zoe?
I don't know what she just said. But... I don't know either. Are you talking to yourself? Is that okay to cut it thin like that? Look at that. Oh, that's on the knife, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Probably easier with a food processor. Yeah, this meat it has to go in the ice box. And then we're denying ourselves um, like a countryman heritage. I want to deny that. The countryman heritage. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Danny Safarno. the rest. Yeah. We don't want to keep too much in the refrigerator and it starts to go brown. So only take out for two days. You know what? I think I'm going to add some more carrots to the other one. Okay, we're pushing out six, 60 
I don't know, is that a nut cutting look? <laughs> Three meals a day, yeah. So whatever that is. Sixty bags. No, I don't know. I'm confusing myself right now. I'm taking a break. My hands are getting sore from this bag. Sixty bags is only for two weeks. What is another sixty? Hands are sore. So, uh, let's see. Sweet potato, chopped carrots, celery, um, all the scraps. We're going to save it for uh, composting. I'm going to take a couple of these to the dogs. So, yeah. right. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girls. Get down, get down, get down. Get down. Sit. Sit. Good girl. No. Sit. Here, Mahina. Mahina don't like. Mahina don't like sweet potato. Come here, lady. Come here. Come. Come here. She loves it. All right. Don't jump. Don't jump. Relax. Relax. She wants to play. They're both having their... The period right now, so hey, pretty girl. Hey, hey, pretty girl. Hey, pretty girl. What you doing? What you doing? Hi, Lily. They'll be one year old in August, actually September. So they're pretty nice size for their age. Yeah. 
Lily is just a bully. She just wants to play. She just wants me to play with her. Mahina is the affectionate one. She just wants to snuggle and wants me to pet her and rub her. Yeah. I know, I know. I'm not going to play right now. Let's just turn the other light on. You guys being good girls, huh? You guys being good girls? Let's turn the camera on. Let's turn the camera on. Let me go grab a chair. Talk start for a minute. Where's the black stool that was up here? Where is the black fold up stool that was up here? Are they here? Oh, I see it. Hold on, pretty girl. Hold on. Let's turn the, the mic around just for you. Hold on. Stop being a bully. Ouch! You. Oh. Stop it. Lily. My goodness. This girl, so rough. Not you, though, huh? Not you. You need a lovey lovey. Hi, pretty girl. No, get down. Hey, get down. You want your you want your little thingy? Huh? This girl this girl's rough. Gotta be rough to her. Hey No. I don't wanna play rough right now. <laughs> Ouch. Mahina, come here. What's she doing? My dogs, they eat, they've been eating this table. They've been eating our, our stairwell right there. Just chewing on everything. So. What you girls doing? Huh? Lily, what you doing? Huh? What you doing? What? Huh? What you doing? What you doing? Lily or Mahina has a more, you can see the, some of the wrinkles, but she's got definitely, got, you can see the uh, longer snout in her. Yeah, they're both uh, in, at the period right now, so they're in, they're in heat. Yeah. Stop, stop it, Lily. Stop. Stop. This 
her sit. She's so hyper, my goodness. What you doing, little girl? So all the food we were making uh, was for them. We have not given them dog food ever since they were born. Like, that's like her favorite toy right there. What you doing, Diddy girl? Come here, Mahina. Come here. Come on. She's like, ah, I don't feel it funny right now. You tired? Huh? <laughs> We're probably gonna have to get uh, eye surgery for her. She's got the that eyelid, the cherry eye. So, yeah. See her cherry eye. She's totally like slobbing over my hand. Let's go wash my hands. girls I'll see you later I'm gonna go back inside <sighs> all right we're gonna end it let me end it on how many more bags we gotta make Six zero. Six zero. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, I'm gonna end it, guys. I'm gonna help cut up some more veggies. So, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of snippet of our life, what we do for our dogs. See you guys on the next one. With that, love you guys. God bless you guys. We hope aloha and mahalo. Chee. Chee.